month, I'm going to be posting a different superset pyramid challenge. So it's two exercises. You do 10 reps of each, then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down to one rep of each as fast as you can. So you may be going at a completely different speed as me in this video, and that's absolutely fine. Go at your own pace. Just go as quickly as you can without sacrificing proper form. For today's challenge, you'll just need one weight. I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell. You could also use a medicine ball. You could go lighter and heavier, and you could do just body weight. So if you don't have any equipment on hand, don't even worry about it. You can totally do the exercises without it. We'll be pushing all out until we finish the pyramid, so definitely make sure that you warm up beforehand. I have a five minute warm up on my channel, or you can do your own. Just make sure you're not going into this cold because it is a max effort type of challenge. I'm gonna go over the two exercises we're gonna do today and then we'll get right to it. So the first move we'll do is a squat jack with an oblique scoop. So we're gonna use our weight for this one. And again, if you don't wanna use the weight, you don't have to. So you're gonna be in a low squat position the whole time. Start with your feet a little wider than hips distance apart and the weight at your chest. So with the low body, we're just gonna be jacking our feet in and out, so narrow and wide. With our upper body, we're gonna be kind of doing a motion as if you were paddling a canoe. So when the feet are out wide, the weight is at center, and then as you hop the feet in, you're gonna to scoop to one side, land back to center, over to the other side, just like that. So each pair is gonna be one rep. So you need to do right, center, left, center, that counts as one rep. Okay, second exercise, gonna be a core move. I like to set up my mat so kind of the opposite way to the length of my body for this one because we'll be kind of rolling side to side and I like to have the padding under my hips. So it's going to be a side V crunch to a center full body crunch to a side V crunch on the other side. Don't mind uh, the lovely angle of me as I demo this. So to start, you're gonna be on the side of your hip. You're gonna have your bottom arm extended for support, legs are straight, crunch up. Come to center, roll to center, crunch. Keep rolling, other side, straight legs, back to center. All of that is one rep. So you have to go right, center, left, center, that counts as one. So I'll do it in real time. Just like that. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top, 10 reps of each of those, then nine, eight, seven, six, five, working your way down to one. Don't worry if you're going at a different speed as me. Um, I'll have numbers on the screen to indicate where I am. So if you lose count, you can always just kind of pop back in where I am in the workout. If you finish faster than me, awesome. If you finish slower than me, awesome too. Go at your own pace. All right, let's get started. So total bummer, my mic died about three seconds into shooting this workout and I didn't realize it until I had done the entire workout. So I'm gonna do a voiceover, it's not gonna match up to my mouth. I apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, I know it's gonna be a little weird, but bear with me. In the meantime, I would queue up a playlist of some songs you like so that you can jam out to music while we do this workout. So we're gonna start with the squat jack and remember, right center, left center equals one rep. And let's go. So if you need to modify these, first you can just ditch the weight. You can absolutely do it with just your body weight. You can also step instead of jump, which could be a good option if you have any knee pain. Still add the scoop in though, so just anytime you step your feet narrow, you would do that scoop and then step them wide. All right, I've just hit my 10 reps, so now I'm gonna move on to those rolling crunches. It's a straight leg crunch to the side, a bent knee crunch to center, a straight leg crunch to the other side. To modify, you can have your hands on the floor during that uh, center crunch. Another way to modify, you could use bent knees instead of straight when you do the side crunch. So as I just demonstrated, same thing with that, uh, the squat jacks. It's right, center, left, center. That equals one rep. We're going up to 10 this first round.
just scoot forward a little bit so my head was hitting the couch. I'm almost done. Remember, go at your own pace. Does not matter if you are going the same speed as I am. One last crunch to center and done with my first round. Okay, so 10 rep round is done. Now I'm going to do nine reps of each, starting back with those squat jacks. Start with your feet wider than hips distance apart and then jump them in and as you do, you're doing that scoop side to side. Each pair is one rep. And that is nine. So now I'm gonna move back to the floor for that crunch series. I mentioned this modification at the start of the workout, but especially if you're tight through the hips, um, on the side crunches, you can do them with bent knees instead of straight legs. It makes them just a smidge easier in my opinion. So during the first round of these, the 10 rep round, you may have noticed I had my fingertips behind my ears and my elbows out wide to the side. That's gonna be the most challenging version for the straight on crunch, not talking about the side ones. Now you'll notice that I'm bringing my hands in front of my body as I do that crunch up. Bringing the arms in front of your body is gonna help with momentum and counterbalancing and it'll make them just a little easier if you need to start modifying like I am. So close, just a couple more to go, deep breath. And done, woo, all right, two rounds of those down. So now I am on my eight rep round. Again, doesn't matter if you are at the same place in the workout as I am, keep going at your own pace. Squat jacks coming up, eight sets of them. Compared to the crunches, I tell you, these almost feel easy. I like these. I could stay on these the whole time. And that's eight. So back to the crunches, which if you are like me, these are way harder than the other ones. I'm struggling on these ones. A little tip on these, you want to be on the side of your butt, not directly on your hip bone, so you're kind of at an angle. If you roll your body right onto the side of your hip, you're not going to be able to lift very high. So think side of your butt, not hip bone. And so it begins. All right, eight sets of these to go. Right center, left center is one rep.
during these longer rounds. I have to start taking little breathers here and there. As long as you keep them quick, know that you can always do that. Um, I challenge myself. I try to get through at least three or four sets before taking my first breather and then continue on from there. So close to the end. And done. Woo! All right, back to the squat jacks. So the three worst or hardest rounds are done. I'm now on my seven rep round. I love this move because it's really a full body exercise. Your legs are working, your core is working, especially the obliques, and your arms are working as you scoop side to side. And done. Those go by so quick compared to the crunches. All right, I have seven sets. Again, notice how on that straightforward crunch, how I'm bringing my arms in front of me rather than keeping the elbows out wide to the side and fingertips by my ears. That's going to make it easier, and I would highly suggest trying that if you're riding the struggle bus like I am on these. Oh, I got to take a little breather. Oh man, those are killer. Okay, so back up to the squat jacks. This is my six rep round. Again, doesn't matter how far into this you are. And just like that, done and on to the crunches. I'm gonna to start to the other side this time because you might notice I take my little breather after the same roll. So we'll just even everything out. Left, center, right, and center. Halfway there. Woo, done, okay. So now I'm on to the five rep round. This is usually the part of the workout where things start to move quicker and quicker. So I always think of the first five rounds as the hard, awful ones. <laughs> and then these are the doable ones. But because we're more fatigued, they don't necessarily feel easy by any means. All right, on to those squat jacks.
and done. Rolling crunches coming up. I'm going to try to get through at least two or three sets continuously before taking that little pause at the top of the crunch. Let's see how I do. Okay, I got through two. Three more to go. Really taking my time getting back into these. <laughs> and done. Those are killer. I didn't expect for them to be so hard, but I'm struggling through them. All right, four rep round squat jacks. These last few rounds are going to fly by compared to those first few. And done. Down to the floor for the evil rolling crunches. Okay, four sets, let's do this. Right, center, left, center. I keep having to scoot forward, I'm slamming my head on the couch behind me. If you're wondering what that little shimmy is, I keep doing. One more to go. Woo, okay, it wasn't pretty, but I did it. On to the three rep round. Grab my weight, sink down low, and squat jack it out. And done. Back to the floor. Three sets. And die. <laughs> there we go. Back to it. These are so hard. Oh man, that was a struggle. These are getting slower and slower, but that's okay. It's better to keep the proper form, slow down, take a breath in between them. Okay, back to the jacks, just two reps. One more to go. I can do it. Okay, last round, just one rep of each exercise. Okay, I'm going to try to make this last rep of the crunches look a little prettier than the last few have been.
And that is it. I am done. If you still have some reps to go, keep going until you are done. And again, sorry about that mic issue, um, but really all you missed was me breathing loudly and complaining about how hard the crunches were, so maybe it's for the best. Once you're finished with this workout, make sure you take some time to stretch and cool down. And if you like this workout, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you want details about what we just did and some other workout ideas, go to my blog, pumpsandiron.com. I will see you here next week with another superset challenge. Again, every Monday for January, you get one of these bad boys coming your way on Monday. And I'm gonna try to also post on Wednesday a longer, um, different formatted workout as well. We will see if that happens. So, <laughs> all right guys, we'll see you soon.